because they do just uh, I can't. put that band on it. Okay. Good. Okay. So this is a rosy fetch. Anyone want to make a guess at the species? Brown. I'd say brown cow. Hundred percent, everybody. <laughs> And you get bonus points. <laughs> okay, so this is a brown cap and this is a female bird. Um, brown cap rosy finches, they breed, uh, they actually breed at a higher elevation than any other bird in all of North America. They can breed up uh, above 13,000 feet, uh, up to 14,000 feet uh, in, the, in the Rocky Mountains, the Southern Rocky Mountains of Colorado, Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, Historically, these birds bred as far south as the mountains around Taos, New Mexico, and again, uh, a very small population uh, as far north as southern Wyoming. So, rosy finches, they've got these great long wings that they uh, use for flying in super high winds and low oxygen environments. Uh, Rosy finches have a single molt a year. Okay, so they don't have multiple molts like some birds do that show distinct differences in breeding uh, plumage and winter plumage. What happens is just after this bird breeds, um, now this one is a young bird, but after it breeds, they go through a molt and they grow in all of these new body feathers that are edged in gray. See those grayish edges? Mm -hmm. Now, as a feather gets older, it fades a bit, but it also wears. The tips of the feathers wear down. So by summertime, those grayish edges will wear down. Thank you. The grayish edges will wear down, and you'll be left with basically this very rich brownish color overall. So there will be less gray, um, less dark edging to sort of distract from the true body color. Now, looking closely at the wing, um, if you know anything about the anatomy of a bird's wing, these pinkest feathers here at the bend of the wing are called the lesser coverts. The next feather track down, these slightly larger pink feathers here, those are median coverts. And this smaller, or this track below that, that is, is fairly long, sort of similar shape to the tertials and secondary, those are the greater coverts. You'll notice the greater coverts are edged in whitish or buff, mm -hmm. while as these others are edged in pink. These ones are replaced, the first set of basic feathers. These other ones grew in while the bird was in the nest. Those are called juvenile feathers. These are called formative, meaning the first basic feathers. Um, so that tells us this is a young bird. Now, the bird has no pink in the underwing, that's something we've discovered is the telltale sign for a female. Males show bright, bright pink below. Um, the bill on this bird is yellow. In the guide, some birds have black bills. That's a breeding characteristic. So as their hormones change and they go into the breeding season, the, all, all the males and females get black bills and then it turns yellow by winter. Mm hmm Okay, so who would like to release this bird? Oh. Yes. You've done this before. <laughs> okay. Um, so what you'll do is you're going to make a V with your fingers. That'll go around the bird's neck. With your other three fingers, you'll grab the body. The legs will just sort of dangle. You can hold them carefully like that. Place them on a flat palm. And then face them out towards the clear skies. Okay. All right, and then just release your top end. Oh, oh, very cool. <laughs> <laughs>